Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to create knowledge articles on ServiceNow. Now there are a ton of ways to get to the page to go ahead and create your knowledge article, but the one that I'll be showing you is if you're actually on the knowledge base and how to create an article from there. So all you gotta do is head over to your all applications menu. I already had it typed in, but I'll type it in again. You wanna type in knowledge. And like I said, there's a few different ways we could do it. We could just go straight to create new. Um, we can go to my knowledge articles, then there'll be a, a new in the top right. But let's say we click on knowledge and we're on our knowledge base and we just we see that there's a, a gap there. There's a report that we need, but we it doesn't exist yet. So all you gotta do is head over here to actions and we can do create article. Okay, and then once that loads, it's going to create the, the uh, template here for you to create the new article. So what you wanna do first is you wanna select the knowledge base that you want it to live in. So you see by default on the out of the box on our development instance, we have IT and knowledge. So this will be an IT article category. So these are the different categories. You could always add more if you need to, but let's see, if we can come up with, okay, I guess we'll stick with Android for now. So we'll pretend that it's an IT Android article. So IT is our knowledge base, Android is our category. Valid too, so this is when you want, uh, exactly like it sounds, that's how long you want this um, knowledge article to be valid for. So maybe it's only gonna be valid for six months and then you know that you need to update it, then you would just set it from six months from today. But for us, we can just leave it as this 2100. Um, you know, it's not gonna expire for a long time. <laughs> uh, so article type, you can select either an HTML or a wiki article. We'll leave it as HTML. Um, the draft, it's in draft right now because we're still drafting up the report and we'll see in a moment if there's any uh, approvals in place and you could always edit the approvals as needed as well. So each knowledge base may have a set of approvals that it needs to pass through on your instance or even particular uh, individual knowledge articles may have approvers in place too. So that'll be something that will be personalized for each instance that you're using. Source task, um, that's not relevant here because there's not a task that we're creating this knowledge article from. We're just creating it as an ad hoc knowledge article. Attachment link, uh, we're not gonna add any attachments. Um, if we did add an attachment though, we could add the attachment link. We could also have display attachments. So we'll just do something generic. Android knowledge article. And it's probably gonna piss some of you guys off, but I'll say Androids are the best. Apple is for followers. Just kidding, I won't put that. I'll just put Android is the best. And what we'll do here is we'll bolden it. We'll make it green, I guess. Because a lot of Android text, or at least it used to be green. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. But you could definitely get creative here. I mean, you could insert images. I think you can insert videos, maybe. Let's see. Image. Yeah, you can insert media, so you can put videos on here. Um, you can code different things if you would like to. It's an HTML field, so you can get very creative here. But this looks good. And we also have this search for duplicates option. So that would be very helpful if maybe you didn't do the legwork beforehand to see if that article already existed. So you could just use this to, to check to see if that article is already on there. So what we could do now is we can hit submit, but for um, for our purposes, I'm just going to right click and hit save so that we stay on the record. Okay, so right now it is in the draft state. So from here, we can continue to make changes if we would like to. But what we want to do next is we want to hit publish that because that'll get us one one step closer to getting it published on the knowledge base or on the knowledge um, um, portal, I guess. So let's hit publish. Okay, so it's published apparently let me go back i just want to see where it's at yep so it looks like we do have an approval so the approval went out to bernard labov let's see if it gives us some information on that approval So maybe he's the approver for the knowledge base, for IT knowledge base. Could probably check that to see. Some of you guys may not care about this, but I'm just curious. Um, 
attribute. Okay, so he's the owner of the IT knowledge base, so that makes sense why he needs to approve it. So we have Bernard's approval. So let's go ahead and simulate his approval. Let's just do it here. Approved. Okay. And it says it's published. So let's see if we can go find it now from the knowledge base that we were looking at before. Or the knowledge portal. So let's go to knowledge and let's type in Android. Android knowledge article. And there it is. And from here, you can do different types of sorts. You can sort it off views, newest, alphabetical. Um, ours is going off relevance. Look at that. Androids are the best. It's published, guys, so it must be true. And when you're on this knowledge article, out of the box, you should have some different options. Like you can flag this article and maybe say it's out of date. If you have the, the correct roles, you can edit that article. You can rate that article. As a, a general user, you can post comments. You can say if it's helpful or not. So yeah, you can definitely make your, your opinion known if you disagree with that article. Or maybe you have something you want to add to it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving this video a like. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Catch you all in the next video very soon.